guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm so excited because I finally got these palettes in from Glam Light. These are a part of the Happy Hour collection and there are four different palettes along with like other things. I think there's lip products and other things, but you know I'm here for the eyeshadow. So I ended up picking just two of the palettes up. These are the ones that caught my eye the most. So I was like, okay, let's just do two. We don't have to go all the way out. And they come in, you know, kind of cute packaging. I don't know why I expected anything less from Glam Light, honestly, because they've done like the oven before. I know when I did the Ice Cream Dream palette, it came in like an ice cream truck kind of outer packaging. But for some reason, when I ordered these, I didn't realize I would be getting them in these like plastic bottles. They look like alcohol bottles, which which is really cute. Um, but I also find for me, I'm like, what do I do with this now? <sighs> like, I don't wanna just throw it away because it is so cute, but also like, I don't need this around. So I just wish I could have been like, no, thank you. <laughs> but I also feel like I'm such a Debbie Downer saying that. Anyway, they are really adorable. They came in these like bottle packagings that open up like that. And they even had like a gold foil on that you had to like peel off like it was a real bottle. They tend to go all out with the packaging. Anyway, the two palettes that I picked up, like I said, I have dirty martini here which was the more green toned one um most of these were kind of monochromatic ish i guess the margarita palette wasn't but this is what it looks like so so beautiful lots of green tones olives some like tealy bluey greens mattes shimmers you know the whole thing which i love both their shimmer and their matte formula so i was really excited for these and felt pretty comfortable ordering these because i knew i already liked the formula as long as it stayed the same you know <laughs> and then the other one i ordered is the chocolate martini which is the more neutral out of them but i'm not gonna lie getting this not as neutral as i thought it definitely has some poppy colors in there you can definitely go orange with it if you want or really gold there's a purple in here so I'm gonna leave timestamps down below I'm gonna be doing a first impression like look with each of these palettes look I'm inspired to do first when these shadows are like untouched new and ready to go so I show you those obviously this is the green look. <laughs> I also wanna do swatches though and kind of talk through some of the colors. I'm just gonna be swatching them on my hand here, so I hope you guys don't mind, but I wanna get this video up for you in case you were looking into these. And I also found that these were slightly, just slightly, like in some ways so good and even better than I thought they'd be from online pictures, but in other ways, especially with the neutral palette, maybe just a little bit different than I expected. So hopefully I can give you some accurate color descriptions and also, you know, show those textures and whatnot in swatches. So if you want to jump around, make sure to check out the timestamps so you can get to where you want to go. And also real quick before we get into the swatches, I did want to just show some comparisons in case. So this is the Ice Cream Dream palette, one of my faves. I love, love, love the shimmery like metallic formula on these. This is what convinced me to then get the Michaela palette, which I mentioned this, but I don't really know who Michaela is, but I just liked the palette. I like that it was colorful. It's even a lot bigger for me than normal, but the purples and the greens sucked me in. This is what it looks like against the Dirty Martini palette here. When I'm looking at like whether some of these would be similar, really only Stunnin' and Vodkatini look like they'd be similar. And they kind of are, but Vodkatini has this kind of blue tinge to it that's definitely a bit different where this kind of goes more golden. They're not the exact same color for sure, but very similar. There is also this shade Freetown here, which is like a tealy blue. And I do think that's kind of similar to mix it up but they're not look so one's way deeper than the other this is the one in the dirty martini palette this is in the Michaela palette totally different I'm honestly doing more comparisons than I thought I would but I just thought hey why not in case there's only a couple colors you're really interested in that's really the most here I mean some of the like bronzy like these types of orangey colors could be similar, but I feel like they're all gonna be just different enough that it's like not quite, you know, like they aren't actually. And the one in the Dirty Martini is like more of a duochrome, so pretty. But again, I just, I love that Glam Light formula. There's so much like shimmer and like sparkle in them that I love. And they're almost like this creamy kind of formula, but they still like sheer out really beautifully. That's really all the dupes I see from the Dirty Martini in that one. I guess I'll go back. I don't know why I did this in this order. This one doesn't really have any. I don't think it 
it matches at all with the dirty martini. So those are the closest. And even then, I don't think you're getting too many similarities. And this is what the chocolate martini palette looks next to it, just to give you an idea. I honestly feel like this palette dupes its own self out between all of these kind of coppery bronzy shades more than it dupes it with any of the other palettes. And here are those two next to each other, just to give you like an overall look. I don't know if this is helpful. Let me know. <laughs> and really, I don't see like dupe for dupe in here. I don't like the browns are slightly different. Even this purple in here is different than the purples that are in here. So I'm happy to say that even looking at them, there's nothing that seems that that close. I mean, for some people, a brown is a brown is a brown, but they are definitely different in undertone and whatnot. So anyway, let's get into some swatches so you can see those and I'll kind of describe the color as well. All right, starting off with the Dirty Martini palette. The first color in here is called Dirty Martini. This is a matte kind of lighter yellowy green olive color. It's a little more muted though. It's not quite a pastel because if you put it next to pastels, it would really show more pigmented, but it's not super super saturated and super vibrant either. Next is the shade On The Rocks. This has a beautiful sparkle to it. It almost looks like a minty green, definitely a lot of blue in this green. And it's one of the lighter shades in here. Really, really love that one. It almost has like a silver sparkle to it. Next is the shade Just A Splash. And this one has like a duochrome to it. So it's kind of golden and red. Um, so it kind of overall looks a little orange. Again, we are still playing with such amazing shimmer and sparkle. And although that one's not super green, I feel like it's nice for the palette to just add a little bit of something to pair with the other green since it is so green heavy. Next is the shade Chilled. This one is so stunning. Uh, it is one of those like dual crumbs that has a red base, a kind of greenish shimmer to it, like a green gold. It reminds me of this, I think it's called like red moss or some type of moss shade from Coastal Scents back in the day. It's very similar to that, but like the amped up better version. It's creamy, um, so, so pretty. Red base definitely comes through though. And I really liked that take in the palette as well since it's like different than and the other greens. And finishing out the top row, this one's called High Class and it is a golden greeny olive. It has like this kind of blue underneath it, so that definitely comes through, but really, really pretty. Again, just the formula on these shimmers is so, so good. Next is the shade Gin. This is a tealy, aqua-y blue shimmer. So metallic, very pretty. Definitely has a lot of blue in it. And this plays so well in with that like deeper blue that we're about to get to but definitely a little bit different than the like more neutral greens that are in here. Next is the shade Classic. This is the next matte we're seeing. This is another green with quite a bit of blue in it. It's kind of reminding me of a lighter jungle green if we're talking about like Crayola crayons. I think it's quite a unique color, at least to my collection. Next, the middle shade in the palette. This is called Vodka Teeny and it is like a lime green, but there's something about this that again, kind of like high class, has this like tealy blue undertone to it. So I tried putting this on my inner corner today, but it doesn't quite have that brightness. It, it deepened up a little more than I expected. A stunning, beautiful, like golden limey green and that tiny tint of like blue in there and that like kind of base definitely makes it unique. Next, we have this matte lime green called Green Olive, just kind of a classic, yeah, yellowy, limey green, but in a matte formula. Then last for the second row, we have the shade Crisp, which is beautiful. It's like this deep blackened emerald shade. So great for like a jewel toned look. It definitely has like a bit of that darkened base to it. And I love this for like a different take on a smoky eye. It's definitely gonna be pretty dark and could be a great one if you wanna use a shimmer to add some depth to the outer corner. This will definitely do it, it's pretty deep. Moving on to the last row, we have the shade Mix It Up. This is definitely a deep dark tealy blue green. This is going to make any of your looks, like instead of pulling it more yellow green, you're really gonna get something a little more blue. And I think that adds a lot of versatility to this palette, depending on what you want, like where you wanna take your green. Next, another matte shade. This one's called Garnish. This is just like a true green, like a very grass green, you know? I think it's a nice addition, a little bit basic to me and what I normally use, but I think it works well for the palette overall. Next is the shade Extra 
extra dirty. It's a nice cool toned matte brown. This is a really great one if you wanna kind of make some of these looks a little more neutral. So you can take one of those green shimmers but then add that brown in the outer corner or in the crease to really ground the look instead of getting something full blown green. The last shimmer in the palette is called Olive Lover. This is what I used on my look today and I really love this one. It's a little bit kind of neutral, like not too warm, not too cool of an olive and it has like a golden shimmer to it. Just a stunning, stunning one. I think this would look so pretty all over the lid for like a one shadow look that's a little bit deeper. I really love that. And last, Dry Vermouth is a really great shade, super soft, very pigmented, um, and it definitely is gonna add like a deeper, like almost army or olive green to any of these looks. And it's a great one for deepening up, but you don't want too blue, you don't want brown. That's a good one. And that's what I used today too. Honestly, I'm most impressed, I think, with the shimmers. You guys know I love shimmers, but the mattes are also really great too. And I love the color selection in here. I think it was done really well, and I'm happy to have it in my collection so far. Next, let's do the chocolate martini palette though. First off, this is the shade Vanilla Vodka. And this is a duochrome, one of those like kind of white looking shades that actually has a very strong gold shift to it. It's super beautiful. It would be great for the inner corner, but not for every look. That's the only thing. Like it's a stunning shade, but I don't want to use it on my inner corner every single time. So I know that I'll definitely have to pull in other like lighter shimmers for me to make every look I want with this palette. But I don't mind that. Just wanted to note. Really beautiful though. <laughs> Next is Irish Cream. This is a kind of peachy neutral shade. Really love that. I felt like when I was using it today, it's quite light, which I enjoy. So I didn't have to like worry about getting it everywhere, being too messy, going patchy or getting too deep on me. Next is the shade Rich, which is a classic like yellow golden shade. I'm excited to use that and top it over things, use it as like a kind of spotlight. I like a golden shade, so I like that one, but definitely very stark yellow. And then next to it, Cheers is similar, but it has like this dirtied quality to it. It's like an antique gold next to it. Definitely has more brown. It almost looks like it has like a bit of a duochrome going on with it. And then last on the top row, this is the one that I thought was going to be a gray, but it was not. <laughs> this is Happy Hour. I don't know if I just was totally misreading the pictures or why I thought that, but this is a cool toned blue purple, uh, but then it has like that red base, so it's a duochrome. Really a stunning shadow if you don't have something like this in your collection. Next is the shade Living Lavish. This is reminding me of JD Glow's Bestie. It is very similar to Bestie in color in the little like golden sparkle that's in here. So if this is the shade you want, like the one shade you love from it, I would check out Bestie from JD Glow. Anyway, this is very orange. It's not like a neutrally orange. It is like in your face, bam, bam, bam orange. Next, we have another matte shade. This is called All Night. I used this today. I really like it. It's like this like dusty grape color, kind of a mauve shade, and it lended itself really well to creating this kind of pink look. And again, didn't seem like that look came from a neutral palette to me. You know, I wouldn't expect that that look could be created from this, you know, ordering it online, but I definitely did it. <laughs> Next is Creme de Cacao, and this is a beautiful, warm, kind of burnt orange brown, but there's not a ton of brown. I mean, it definitely, to me, on my skin is gonna pull pretty orange, so I think it's going to work well with a lot of the colors in here. Extra Lit might be my favorite shade in here. I think it's just so unique and interesting. It's this mauvey pink, with a silver shimmer to it. I just think it's stunning. It's so pretty as a one shadow look. It's like romantic and rose and just mm, yummy. Love it, love the sparkle in it, loved how it looked on my eyes and how it performed, really into that one. This is Girls Night Out and it's a beautiful brown. Like something about this brown is very interesting. It almost has like a purple to it or something else is making it like intriguing to me. There's something about it and uh, I really love that. Okay, next, bittersweet, kind of just a classic mid-tone, neutral leaning brown. Really a beautiful one, almost kind of looks like a uh, hot chocolate or something. Then another stunning shade in the palette. This one is called Chocolate Liqueur. It's like a deep purpley 
kind of leaning bronze, but it's purple and it has like a golden sparkle to it. If you blended this out, it would start turning more and more reddish pink, beautiful shade. Next is the shade Syrup, and this is a warmer kind of mid-tone brown. It's definitely different than Creme de Cacao because it does have a little bit more brown in it. It's not as like punchy, but they're kind of similar. Then we have Ganache, which is a bronzy, it's kind of on the, the fence of like, is it cool toned? Is it warm toned? I think depending on what tones you put it with, it's gonna look the opposite of those ones, but definitely a really pretty one in there. And one of the ones that's like a true neutral, like it's a neutrally brown color in here. And then last we have dark chocolate, which is a plummy brown. It definitely pulls pretty plum. It's not as soft as some of the other shades and other palettes, but I used some of that today and I thought it worked well. So um, I definitely like the inclusion of that. And I love that undertone too, cause it, it makes it work really well with the purple in here. It would look so luxurious with some of these golden shades. Like I think there's a lot of room to work with it. Anyway, those are the palettes swatched out. Definitely, um, you know, like some exciting surprises. Some things were just a little bit different than I expected, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope my descriptions were helpful. You'll have to let me know because maybe I can try to talk them out a little bit more with other palettes. But let's just get into the demos of these palettes. Okay, let's get started guys. I'm so excited to dig in. Overall, lots of warmth going on. So I feel like I can kind of go golden or I could go with this, which is kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, I just, my hair's pink, my outfit, I don't know, I'm kind of into that. There's also this beautiful like chocolatey, oh, it's like a chocolate raspberry goodness, but I could pair that with the pink. So maybe I'll do something with that. But then there's also this kind of like orangey copper and still a bronze. So oh, I don't know what to do. Okay. Usually with my first impressions, I try to do what I'm drawn to most. So that's what I think I'm going to stick to. So starting off, I'm going to go in with Irish cream. It is the lightest like matte shade in here. It definitely has like a peachy color to it. I'm putting that all in my crease. It's definitely going on nice and light initially. So I don't have to be as like nervous about blending, which is great. Next, I'm gonna go in with this kind of mauve shade. This is called All Night. It's kind of grape almost, I guess, like a, a mauve grape. That's gonna be in my outer corner. So I'm just gonna start building that color up out there. I might be like adding it into the crease as well, but this is really gonna add that pink tone, but in a matte just starting to yeah set the tone for what we're gonna be using. I'm bringing that even in a little bit farther than normally I would. I just love the kind of tone it's giving. And then I'm gonna go in and blend out. It's building nicely, but I definitely wanna get even more of a smoother blend. Um, so I'm going back in with that original brush. I'm not even adding more color right now. I'm really just working on melting those two colors together. And by melting, I mean blending <laughs> and trying to make them as seamless as possible. So far, I really like that. I feel like that color maybe got, it's not like super patchy. Definitely, I'm not like concerned about how my look's gonna go, but you know, could have been better, I guess. Um, I'm going in, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is called Extra Lit that pink shade. This is gonna go all over my lid, kind of into that outer corner as well. So I'm just pressing that on with my fingers. I love the shimmer shades from Glamlight. They are stunning. So, so pretty. This one's no exception. And then when I get to the top, I'm just kind of tapping my finger so I get a little bit of a piecier blend out there. This would look so good also with any of these like more orangey browns to really bring that out, but I think I'm gonna go deeper. Next, I'm gonna go in with a small blending brush. I'm gonna go in with that deep shade. We're just laying down a little bit more of a base before I then top it over with this shade. So I'm just using this gently tapping off and just kind of wisping it in the outer corner, adding a little bit of depth and taking my time to build that up a little bit. And now I think one of the last things I'm gonna do, I'm taking chocolate liqueur and this is going to be padded just in that outer corner, kind of over all that, just, you know, I love shimmer. <laughs> and I'm just tapping that into the outer corner. This is adding lots of depth, even though it is shimmery as well. And then once again, I'm taking that initial brush we had and just blending out some of those edges, trying to get it really nice and blended where I can. For that brow bone, I wanna keep that still chill. So I'm just going into the highlighter I used today. This one is from Elsie and it's the shade Luna. And it has like this kind of beigey pink tone to it, which is gonna work so nicely with everything. And this is really gonna help give us a nice blend on top there. So I just add that right at the high point 
is where I target most of my product. And then when I have less, I start blending out. I'm gonna use this liner from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just in a brown and I'm gonna line my lower lash line just about halfway. And then I'm just blending it out with a brush. I'm not taking any other color yet. I'm like nervous as to what I want down there. I don't know if I wanna make it too pink, so I'm kinda scared to blend out with that right now. Should I add the purple just right under? I think I'm going to. So I'm taking Happy Hour. It's like a duochrome bluey purple, and I'm putting that right on the lower lash line at the halfway point and blending it in a little. Not sure how I love that move, but I did it. I felt like that went on really nicely with the brush though, which not all shimmers do. And these ones are like especially creamy and it, it went on really nicely. All right, and I think really the last thing before we get into mascara, I'm gonna go in with that highlighter again on that inner corner. I didn't know what I was gonna do, but since we have that purple going on, it kind of added a depth to my lower lash line I wasn't maybe initially expecting. So I definitely wanna try to brighten that up. All right, I'm gonna add mascara and I'll show you guys the final look. So here's the look all zoomed in. It is so pretty. I'm thinking like chocolate covered strawberries or like cherry chocolate, or I don't know. That's like what I'm getting from it. I'm really impressed. I'll try to zoom in all the way. Oh, it is. <laughs> I'm really impressed with the shimmers on this palette. I feel like it looks like I use some of my single shadows. So really sparkly, really beautiful. Also, I do like the lower lash line. That purple like kind of blended out a little bit more, definitely turned a little bit warmer and wasn't quite the contrasty pop I thought it'd be, but still really beautiful, just a little less subtle than I initially thought. Um, but yeah, you'll have to let me know what you guys think. Really smoke, like kind of smoky. Let's zoom it out though. All right, so here we are all zoomed out. I, I love it. I think it's really pretty kind of smoky. So far with the chocolate martini palette, I'm really impressed and I feel like it's what I expected from the Glam Light formula, what I've used in the past. So I'm very happy about that because that's like what got me to buy it. I do want to note that online, I really thought I was buying a more boring neutral palette. Like I thought I was going to get these really beautiful textures and that'd be Glam Light's formula, but a little bit more actual neutral color. And I would have to say that like having it in person, I mean, there's a purple in here, there's some really poppy golds. The pink look that I did today, I wasn't like expecting to be able to create something like that. I don't know if like looking at the palette as a whole and then having it in person was that different or maybe, you know, something about the photos was a little bit different than I expected, but it's definitely like a poppier neutral palette. It's like neutrals that still have some color to them. Like, I just wanna point that out. But yeah, I'm excited for it still nonetheless. I'd love like an actual neutral neutral palette. I think that'd be so pretty right now. But anyway, that is my look. Let's move on to the next palette. I'm doing both these looks today. So we'll see how the Dirty Martini does. All right, guys, we have costume changed. We're ready for the green. It's gonna look so good with this outfit and my pink hair, like, oh my God. If I do say so myself, but anyway, Let's get into this. I'm definitely interested in doing something kind of like green and sultry and then maybe having like a pop of that on my inner corner, like keeping it pretty monochromatic green. I don't know, let's see what we do. Starting off, I'm going for the lightest matte green that we have going on. This is called Dirty Martini. I have a feeling this is gonna pull a little more yellow than I maybe expect, so we'll just kind of see what goes on. Also, I did my best to remove my makeup, so I hope it looks okay. I don't feel like I work with greens that, that much, so it'll be interesting to see how this look goes and, and how comfortable, honestly, I am in it. I love a lime green as like a pop, but for a full on look, I don't know, but this palette just drew me on in. So I'm just going lightly, building up a transition with this. It's definitely like where there's less, it's turning a little yellow, which is what I was expecting. I'm just taking my time to really blend that out. These mattes definitely aren't very uh, powdery. Like they're not kicking up a lot of powder in the pan. I definitely think with the green, I'm gonna need to like play for sure before I could be like, oh, I love it. That's how it's feeling right now. Cause I don't know, it feels like it's patchy and maybe this is just how greens are. Or maybe greens just like come together more at the end, I don't know. But next, I definitely wanna go in with dry vermouth. That's gonna be like our dark green shade in that outer corner. Oh, this one's more powdery. This one definitely has more of a kick up in the pan. So I'm gonna be putting this on that outer corner. Oh yeah, 
that's pretty. And then I'm gonna blend that. I'm not taking it too far up yet because I don't want that deepness to go too far. I'm really loving the way this is looking. I feel like any of those feelings I was having about that first shade, it's working so beautifully to blend this out, especially this side's looking amazing. I kind of want to bring that green forward a little. Maybe I'll do a little bit of a halo little eye. I don't know. I'm going to bring some darkness though here on that inner corner and then just like blend up. And I'm probably going to use this smaller pencil brush to also bring some of that depth back out on that outer corner because blending it out, it's definitely lost a little bit of that deepness. I think it's funny, right before this, I'm like, there's no kick up, but this one definitely will be best to tap off. And then when I need to, I'm just blending out with that first green we used. I think the color I wanna use is, I think this one, this is called Olive Lover. And I'm gonna put that just right in the center. Oh, got some fallout, gotta tap that off. And I'm just gonna be patting that in the center. And then as I have less product, kinda tapping out. It's definitely not a huge contrast, like it's a deeper color. If you really want that halo spotlight effect, I would go in with something lighter, but I kind of like it. It's kind of what I wanted. I wanted it pretty smoky and dark. And then I'm just gonna go in and touch up with that dark shade on the inner and outer corner with that little pencil brush just to kind of tap over any edges. Last, I really wanna punch in that green for the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with Vodka Teeny, which is like the brightest, I feel like. And I'm just gonna tap that on the inner corner. Huh, not very bright. I don't suggest, don't do that. Maybe I'll use this gold on top with my finger. Don't suggest, don't do that either. Oh God, okay, let me find a highlighter because there's nothing in here that's light enough for me to really highlight with, they're all gonna deepen a little too much, not bring enough light for what I'm looking for. Okay, so I think I'm gonna combine my ozone highlighter from Nabla with the LYS one, which has a little more gold to it, and get something for my brow bone and inner corner. Definitely what I wanted. And of course, just the tiniest blend between the two. I'm liking it so far. Um, I'm gonna add some mascara. I don't think I'm really gonna do much on the lower lash, I might add a little bit of that brown liner, we'll see, and I'll show you guys final look. All right guys, here is the final look. It's definitely, you can see the halo eye, but it's a little more subtle. I'm not gonna lie, like I think the look is pretty, I think the shadows performed pretty nicely, like I'm excited about them, but I feel a little like, uncomfortable like a little out of my comfort zone a bit with how deep it is and the color of it but i'm glad i did it i think i'm gonna need a little bit more time to play around with this one though really get my thoughts like my favorite color combos and stuff but let's zoom out all right guys so here's the look all zoomed out you'll have to tell me what you guys think of it definitely a little green maybe the lips not the right color i don't know let me know what your thoughts are sometimes like i've mentioned in other videos like getting comfortable with color if you aren't used to seeing yourself in different colors it can feel like weird or bad but really it's just like if you wore this every day you'd be like oh damn that's pretty you know so maybe that's what's going on here anyway some kind of thoughts going on really this is a green palette lots of greens for me i find there are lots of really beautiful lid shades i feel like i have lots of pockets to kind of play around in and explore and maybe go a little bit lighter. It doesn't always have to be this deep, but I will say there aren't really any like lighter, like golds or like for me, inner corner, uh, brow bone or anything like that type shades in here. But I'm excited to keep playing around. Formulas, again, feel very similar to past glam light shadows that I've used. So if you like the glam light formula, I think I do think you're gonna like these, but I wanna keep playing around, you know, and uh, let me know, did you guys pick any of these up? Were you excited for them? I'm excited to keep playing around with these ones. I'd love to know what your thoughts are if you've been using yours as they've come in. If I should maybe pick up the other ones, do you like those color stories or not? Let me know, but I'm gonna end it here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.